Like every program of this scale, especially involving community participation, building capacities of all program actors is key to successful implementation of the program. A major component of the program is institutional strengthening and capacity building, for which almost one-fourth of the total program funds will be utilized. The responsibility for building capacities lies across all levels of the program, starting with the National Program Management Unit or the NPMU, which is responsible for bringing together expert agencies such as the Central Groundwater Board, Rajiv Gandhi National Groundwater Training and Research Institute, technical non-governmental agencies with experiences in training on groundwater and other relevant agencies. Apart from knowledge on groundwater, the program functionaries, capacities on data collection, data entry, operation of management information systems also has to be taken care of by the NPMU and the SPMU, which is the program management unit at the states. Conducting training at state and district level, conducting information education and communication activities, Facilitating cross-sharing and learning through workshops falls under the role and responsibility of SPMUs. Influencing behavioral change and change in attitude of people towards application of innovative water conservation measures has to be led by the district program management unit. While the government functionaries continue their efforts to build capacities of program actors, the role of NGO as a district implementation partner is critical to operationalizing the capacity building plan and handholding of communities. From training frontline workers on collecting data to fulfill the DLIs, to supporting them to prepare water security plans require the DIPs to step in and work very closely with the communities. As we have seen in the previous slide, the capacity building roles and responsibilities at each level in the program is different. So is the capacity building needs that are identified in different levels. The GP level functionaries need to be trained on planning water supply and demand, creating water budgets, strengthening of village water management committees, whereas at district level, the focus of capacity building of program actors could be on compilation and review of the water security plans which are submitted by the villages, generation of a district level plan, preparing the budgets, uh, so apart from knowing the technical know-how of groundwater management, the district level officials must be trained on these aspects of the program. Similarly, at the state level, the functionaries must be trained on handling MIS, grievance redressal systems, state level budgeting, monitoring and reporting to the NPMU and to the World Bank. As suggested in the program guidelines, the training of master trainers will be conducted by Rajiv Gandhi National Groundwater Training and Research Institute in the workshop mode. The trainees would come prepare with real-time data and information from their respective states to practically put together different training modules that would be useful for future training of the trainers. These master trainers will further train the staff at district levels, the district implementation partners and other functionaries in the states. Resource material which will be prepared with support from the National Program Management Unit will be translated and contextualized to local context for training the GP level functionaries. Atal Bhujal Yojana has identified different national, state level, government and non-government agencies to support training and capacity building in the program. Knowledge and experiences generated from successful models such as Hivri Bazaar and Marvi already exists in the ecosystem and the program plans to leverage them using available and new training content, Central Groundwater Board and Rajiv Gandhi Institute will conduct a national level training. The states can also identify states at state level for helping them with the capacity building operations in state, district and gram panchayats.
Atal gel cannot be made successful on the ground if it fails to generate mass change in behavior of water users, whether it is farmers using water for agriculture or is it domestic water consumption needs in the villages. This makes information, education and communication crucial in the program. Through mass communication such as television channels, cable TV, or through local campaigns such as street plays, wall paintings, short videos, display boards, the program aims to sensitize communities without whom demand management and sustainable groundwater use cannot be achieved. Given the rise in use of technology across the country, Atal Jal also plans to use social media as a way to reach communities. While the district implementation partners and the trained frontline workers will continue to raise awareness in the communities, the content disseminated by communication experts through such channels can help them achieve this mass behavioral change at scale.